Since 2007, researchers have been picking up radio signals from space without an explanation and no idea as to what the source of them were. Well, now scientists think they have found the source of these signals, and I'm going to tell you all about it right now on IO. Hey, 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 friends, this is Inform Overload, your YouTube source for trending news. I'm Charlotte, and welcome back to the channel. On 18 separate occasions, fast radio bursts, or FRBs, have been detected by scientists. Explanations for these bursts have varied, but the most interesting of these explanations is, of course, that they are being transmitted by extraterrestrial life. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint, and believe me, I'm really disappointed, but these signals are probably not coming from aliens. The first waves were no longer than a millisecond and were first detected by Parkes Telescope in Australia back in 2007. One of these signals was heard repeatedly and allowed scientists to conduct a six month study, which eventually led to the location of the source of the signal. At First, the scientists thought that the signals were coming from our own galaxy, the Milky Way, but it appears that that is not the case. Scientists claim that they are coming from a faint dwarf galaxy that's over 3 billion light years away in the Pentagon shaped constellation Auriga. These bursts must be pretty darn powerful if they're being detected by us, like we're, we're kind of far away, so that's, that must mean that they're, they're pretty. Bursty. The galaxy is nicknamed FRB 121102, shown here, and it was discovered by a multi antenna radio telescope operated by the US National Science Foundation. It discovered two emission sources that are not more than 100 light years apart. Basically, the signal starts as a big, fast radio burst, followed by a stream of ongoing, weaker radio emissions. The exact cause is not completely confirmed, because, you know, it's really far away and we can't, like, see that from here. But scientists believe that it is more than likely coming from a super dense neutron star also called a magnetar. That'd be a good name for a superhero. Magnetar! My name is Magnetar! The star has a powerful magnetic field that's actually surrounded by debris from a stellar explosion. Neutron stars are very small, dense objects, but don't let their size fool you. A neutron star might be small, but it can have a mass around twice the mass of our sun. They are formed when a supernova explodes and are basically the last bit of fuel left from a dying star. And as for the two sources, Dr. Benito Marcote thinks that the bursts are likely to be the same object or that they are somehow physically associated with each other. So like many theories, there's also conflicting theories that could explain the source of these bursts. The other popular theory is that they are jets of material being expelled from a supermassive black hole. Bursts of radio energy could be shooting out from the fringes of a black hole and are being picked up as radio signals. One thing that I thought I would mention is that one of the FRBs actually repeats, like over and over. So who who knows what's causing that? My guess is aliens, as usual. This research was presented at the American Astronomical Society's annual meeting in Grapevine, Texas. So which source sounds more likely to you guys? A neutron star, black hole, or aliens? Let me know in those comments down below. That is all for now, thanks for watching IO, and I'll see you in the next video.